Jase, we're going to change the brake lever now. Yep. Now, you've got a broken brake lever. Yep. There's probably only one reason why it's broken. You crash too much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, one sure way to fix it now. We'll put a new one on it. No worries. Phillips head and a 10mm spanner. I have the tools. We've got them. Okay. So, undo the lock nut. Down the bottom there. Take them out. And it pretty well just pops straight out. And out comes all the bits. Being careful to make sure everything goes back in place as they came out. Okay, that little plunger goes there. Okay, nice new lever. Making sure it's just actually the same one so it does fit. Yep. All right. On. So I've got to take these off now. Might get you tail that for me, Jase. Yep. So being a maestro brake lever, we've got the, th the three pace bits in there. That's it. On the Brapster bikes, there's two different types of brake levers you'll come across. This is a, uh, the Maestro, the top of the line brake lever, so it's got the, it's got three pieces. It's got a, um, the plunger piece that goes in the middle of the, of the brake lever and the actual master cylinder, whereas the Brapster Pro lever is just at one solid lever. The lever goes all the way around and pushes the, the pin on the master cylinder. So if you've got a Maestro, you'll need to change your pin over, as your new levers don't come with a pin. So that's just what we're doing, Polly and I are doing now, just unscrewing this. The pin out of the old lever. Okay, let's do it the other way. Okay. How many people does it change? Well, it takes to change the lever. <laughs> it usually takes four with this particular apparatus. If they've got as bad okay. skills as me. We've got the skills to put this one back in as, right. as it came out. That's how I like them. Put um, a dust seal back on. Um, keeping your have, having a full length lever um, is usually handy. So you can grab it with your your whole hand if you need to. So with your new lever. So this is a new, the new one here. Um, it's got the the ball on the end to stop your hand slipping off your lever. Um, also, if you um, racing or riding with your mates, if you, if you do a crash into someone else, it's not going to stab them like that lever is, it's only just going to bounce off, so um, yeah, especially if you're going to be in, any, entering any race mates, you'll need a full length lever. Very good. Okay, so we've got the, all the bits back in place, dust cover on, little plunger back in place there, and we just slip them back where it all came from. Here we have it, holding that. Pin back through it all. Pin back through in place. And that's got it. Just put my nut back on the bottom there. The screwdriver to hold the screw. Team will, team will spend it to do it up. Again, firm, not over tight. Okay. okay, now we can adjust it to suit your reach. Now, if you're okay. happy with that, it's not too bad. It might be a little bit far out for me, Polly. Okay, so we can fix that. The height. It feels um, a little bit tight as well. Okay, so we'll undo the lock nut. So, so yeah, always make sure when you change your levers, you, you have, just have a quick feel of them and make sure that you, you can reach them and they feel good. Just pop, row your bike forward and backwards, make sure your brakes are grabbing well. Make sure all the Grab pins and everything us. are lined up. So. I'll try my lever now. That's pretty good. That's pretty close to where I like it. So, and probably spinning the wheel there. Brakes, brakes are working well. So, spinning nice and freely. Yep. Exactly right. Okay, we'll do the lock nut up again. So just locking all the settings off now. So nothing moves. Okay. There you go, new lever, Jase, that's fit. Oh, sorted.